Drop boop is another form of the double boop, but it doesn't take any mechanical skill to pull it off. It is all based on high ground positioning and when you grapple. There isn't any fancy button resets or mouse flicking required. You drop from a high ground and you grapple. You first hit them with the fireball as you're falling. Upon hitting the ground, it will reset your fireball cooldown and then you hit them when you go straight. All you have to do is drop from high ground, have a grapple that is long enough, and hold W or your forward uh, thumbstick, and you will just hit them twice without having to do anything mechanically crazy. Ball is already played as a disruptor and a displacer. You disrupt and displace their comp, so your team can collapse and follow up on a displacement. Being able to displace them double the distance and double the damage doubles your value. Depending on where you position your grapple, you can land your drop boop and then pull up high enough to slam. This can burst up to 200 damage and keeps them completely out of position. I'm going to show off one spot for every map. There's a few maps, I'll call them the high ground maps, but they have multiple spots across the whole map. And I won't show specific spots because they're literally everywhere. The hardest part about this one is getting into that position. When you're attacking, take the far right flank route, get up to the high ground, and set it up. This map's already a really good double boot map, so if you can already do those, I suggest you stick with that. But if you can't, drop from the high ground. As long as they're close-ish to the edge, they'll go off the map. On this map, the mid fight always happens on point. Both teams on the opposite side of the drum, you can push them into your team. And if you grapple the middle of the point, you also have a perfect spin to win around the point. This one is another very easy environmental kill. You can see they can be so far up on the point and still get boofed off the map. This sets up some crazy comeback plays. Eichenwald isn't a dive map, but second point has so much high ground that you can drop boop from, and there's one or two on third point, but I really like this one on first. You go far right side, up above the point on their high ground, and you can drop boop them when on the left of the tower, boop them into the choke, and set your team up to roll them over. On defense of Hanamura, you can hide back here, wait for the enemy to get to choke, and then hit him with the old drop and slam. It splits the team and does big damage that your team can follow up on. A little bonus spot for you is on attack, you can flank far left, hit a wall jump here to get onto the top of the high ground of the point, I guess, and you can then drop onto their bunker and push them into your team. Havana has a few on first and third, and many throughout second point. But this one to break the first corner, bunker, is really good. And these two on second. On Hollywood, all of second is high ground, and parts of third has high ground. But the first bunker corner is always the hardest to break, so you can either flank left, grapple up to the elevator, hopefully they don't see you, and even if they do, you can just hide out of their line of sight, wait for your grapple to reset, and then go in from there. Or if the cafe is free, you can go right to the cafeteria and boop them out. On Horizon, the attackers tend to come this left side path. If you spot this out, you can quickly go above them and hit a 180 double boop onto them, displaces them, and as your team is on the opposite high ground, they can crossfire them. Ilios Ruins, as always, you flank behind them. You can wall jump this spot, and normally this is where their auto will be playing and you can just insta-kill her. If you can't wall jump, you can go this long path around and still get the same effect. On well, you want to roll out and get onto their high ground as they're coming out of spawn. If they don't have a Lucio, you will get there as they're getting there, and if they do, you might be a little late, but there's always some people that tend to lurk back, and you can hit them off the map. On Lighthouse, you can take their high ground and do the obvious disruption to boop them into your team. But, there's also this spot here, where you can actually have enough height to drop boop them off the map. Juggertown is literally across the whole map. I don't think there's a spot on attack or defense that isn't drop boopable. First, second, third point, all great. 
King's Row has many high grounds that you can do across the map. But first point, it is very easy to take advantage of this tech. As if they're holding aggressive, you can boot from here. If they're mid fighting, you can do it from here. Or if they're backing off, you can do it from here. Li Jang Garden. There's actually no high ground that is useful. That one on the other on the left side doesn't matter because it's one boop distance anyways. But if you can wall jump off the center of the point, you can boop them either way. Night Market is a little obvious. You take their high ground and as they're pushing in, boop them into your team. Control Center is a little more weirder because of the angles. You can disrupt during the mid fight, or if you're retaking, you can disrupt the defense. On Nepal Shrine, you can be really aggressive on defense here and disrupt them as soon as they try to push to your point. On defense or on attack, you can do either of these sides. Nepal Sanctum, you can either hide behind them, wait for them to push in, jump off that little ledge, and this is normally where their Ana will be playing. Or if you can hit wall jumps, you can get up to this high ground of a point, and if they're in the middle of the point, they can either go off the map or they'll bounce off the ledge, but it just disrupts them. Numbani. Literally all of first, second, and third has high grounds that you can drop the ball off. On University, there's only one high ground that you can actually do this from, and it's kind of awkward to drop from, but it is possible. On Oasis Gardens, you can drop from this high ground, and if they're in the middle of point, they should go off the map. You can also do it another direction any other way depending on the scenario of defense or attack and then city center there's the high ground in the middle of the point that you can drop from to displace their bunker on if you're attacking the defense or displace the attack if you're defending for you people that still play this map on first point you can come from this high ground and possibly boop them off and if not second point disrupting the attack is pretty good Relto is a map that has lots of high grounds, first, second, not many third, but first and second throat. Put this one on the, f on the first corner, if you're defending, you can boot the attackers right into your team, split them off around the corner, and just destroy them. Route 66 is another map that has so many high grounds, first, second, third, all of them is do drop boopable. But this first one, when you're attacking, you can come up this left side high ground, and if they're holding close on the corner, you can drop boop them and possibly get them off the map. This is the standard rollout that balls do on King's Row to boop that first defense. You can do the same thing, but I drop up onto it. So even if they're expecting you to boop them and they're holding super far back, you still hit them off. Even if the first boop is enough to get them off their high ground, it still doubles the damage and boops them in even farther. If your team has won the high ground and the defenders have backed up to point, you can do the same spot onto their point defense. Most attackers on Voskaya come to the left side as your team defends the right side and you play that cross map, the cross firing. If your team's over there, you can drop boop some of the enemies into you and since they are now split, say you boop in two people, those two people are probably dead. You can also do the same thing on attacking B and breaking their bunker. And the last map, Watchpoint Gibraltar, one of the biggest dive maps known to Overwatch. Even during GOATS meta, this was the map you played Winston GOATS. Every single point of first, second, and third has some sort of high ground on defense or attack that Ball can use. A little disclaimer as well. Please don't use this to taint the name of ball players. Not all of us are feeders. When you are drop pooping with slam, you are full committing. You are using both your cooldowns to engage. So know your scenarios of when you are able to full engage and when you can't. Don't expect to 1v6 them just because you know this tech. Sometimes there's scenarios where you just rather slam off high ground and use your grapple to get out or to displace them. This is not a do it every fight kind of tech. Hey guys, I haven't posted a video in almost three weeks and I'm still getting channel traffic 
the likes, the comments, the views, they're all still pulling numbers, and I really wanted to thank you guys for that. I never really thanked you guys for 100 or 200 subs, but we're now we're at 290 as of Saturday night. We're almost going to hit that 300 in just a few days. So I want to thank you guys for that. I am working on a new video series. They're going to be like 2 to 5 short little videos, but if I upload them every other day, it will still last me like 2 months. So I'm going to try to do that, upload every other day. If I miss a day and it's a third day or a fourth day, there'll still be like 2 to 3 a week. And when I do miss those days, it's probably because I stream too long. I stream 6 days a week. Here's my link to my Twitch. But yeah, that's really all I want to say. Stay tuned to that video series. And thanks again for the early 300 subs. And I know we're going to be uh, hitting higher milestones soon. Heart.